everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art, and we're so happy to have you join us again. And if you're new, we welcome you. We are so happy to have you be a part of this amazing art journey with us. And if you know me, you know I like to get started right away. Well, what we have here today, guys, is a cup. I think this is 16 ounces. Yeah. And we have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and we're going to be doing a flip cut now what that means is I will be putting paint inside here layering it and then I will be flipping it and allowing it to create an abstract design now most likely I will need to have some filler color to support and I will be using the artist loft floor acrylic black which is in here to help extend to the edges if necessary. But let me just share with you what I'm going to be using by way of my colors for the layering process. This first color is the amazing Artist Law Argent Silver. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start by putting a little bit in the bottom, okay? Remember what goes in first, generally comes out last. <laughs> okay, so the next color is my lovely permanent blue violet by Amsterdam. And we're gonna try and just go ahead and put some of that beautiful permanent blue violet in. Again, a lovely color. Then I have Liquitex Basics Hooker Green. These are some of my absolute favorites. We need about 14 ounces, and this is a 16 ounce cup, so I'm thinking we'll have enough. Here we have the lovely um, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. And we're putting that in along with the Liquitex Basics Turquoise. So, so pretty. Just love this color too. Now, what I am going to do, that's probably about 14 ounces. I'm going to put a little bit more of the silver on top. Yeah. Okay, there we have it. See how nice and pretty those colors look. Okay, try to get that in there so you can see that. Now, I have taped the back of the canvas and I am um, going to take, and to make this easy, you can actually flip the cup over. My cups aren't very strong. The plastic here is kind of a little bit flexible. So, I'm going to take my canvas up and I'm going to take my cup here, my canvas that's taped, and lift up my cup and flip the cup over, lay the canvas down. You can see that it's a little flimsy. Let those colors do their best to release. And if I find that I um, need additional support. I'll add the Otter Sloth Black to be an extender. Haven't used this color combination together, haven't done a flip cup in a while, and so it'll be interesting to see. You can put a pin in here to release the air. Um, just poke a little hole in the bottom and release the air. I won't be doing that today, but I will be allowing this to flip open. A lot of that color is still in there so we're going to just roll it on out let it roll out of the cup you can see it coming out a whole lot of turquoise blue ooh so pretty and the artist loft has the the artist loft silver argent has it's a metallic so it's going to create a quite a bit of cells. Let's put that down for a second. 
Let some of that paint roll it. This is really pretty. And you can choose to pop your bubbles now or later uh, once you start with the flip cup. Sometimes I don't pop them at all. And as you can see, this is really developing. Popping the air bubbles, adding heat to this metallic, could cause for a lot more um, cell reactions. So I'm going to try that right now, just popping these air bubbles. And if I think I need to have more paint down, I'll just put another flip cup down. If I don't uh, utilize it, there's that extra paint color that came out. Look how pretty that looks inside. Boy, that is so pretty. Wish that was on the canvas. All right. I don't know where my permanent blue violet went, but it's probably mixed in with that hooker green and yellow. But we're going to go ahead and try and see if we can find it in this effort to get our colors to move, our paints to move. And I'm just taking this in the circular motion. Cells are really, really pretty. You can tell that, um, I'm bringing that back to the center. I'm thinking that I want to see this is really developing nicely. I want to see more of the um, permanent blue violet. So what I'm going to do is take another cup and use the cup to put permanent blue violet in it. I also want to see, uh, what else do I want to see? A lot of turquoise, got some green. We'll just put some yellow on here, right on top. And do another layer of that. Permanent blue violet. Top it there. And because we want to get cell action continued, just a little more silver on top. And this time, I'm just going to take and release this in a circular motion. So it's more of a rain pour, flip cup rain pour that we're coming into now. And I'm watching as we are doing this to see the cell reaction that is developing and continuing to develop as though I had put silicone in here. No silicone has been used. And as you can see, the yellow and the purple are making a bright Oh, I think that's more of a goldy type, gold type color. So pretty. And you can just let that pour straight or ring it in a spiral. It's going to break up some of that blue. And it's going to give us some of that permanent blue violet, which I'm calling purple, but it, it's absolutely permanent blue violet. All right, oh, that's really pretty. Okay, and we will tap that off like that. And let's see, because we got air bubbles, we're gonna pop those now. This is looking like it's going to be fun. Well, we got some air bubbles over here too. Let's just get them on while we can. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pick this up again and go for it. Just trying to keep that center ring going. It may be giving us an opportunity to 
keep some of that cell action from uh, leaving us sets on the edges. down to this corner and over and back to the center. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna pull it back. Bring it back in. See if we can capture that edge down there. Okay. Bring it back in. Well, oh, those are neat colors on the outside too. Really pretty. Now, I said I'd put some black in here if I need it to extend it. I may do that, but I'm really not liking the idea of it be so much right now with adding black because these colors are just all by themselves doing a great job. Let's see if we can go down in that corner there. Oh, that yellow really came through. I love this corner over here, my lower right. I love what's happening here. There's a tip of green, there's some green there. All right, let's see if we can get this corner here. Bring it down. Get the paint off the edge there. Okay. Don't want to overstretch, but I'm loving what that silver is doing as well. It's making like a highlight into the permanent blue violet. Wow, that is an interesting design. Let's see, what do we want to do? I've got a lot of yellow in there, a lot more here and there. And before I go dripping any paint onto the canvas, I want to remove these gloves. And looking over everything here, it looks like we've got corners covered, pretty much. Cool. A lot of purple, a lot of yellow, because we added that. How about we do this, just to play some more. We will take let's take a clean cup. A little bit of the silver there. Go with these same colors again. This is going to serve as a really pretty background, I hope. And what we can do is see if we can get uh, more paint down, more paint in terms of a design too, and see what happens here. This is really pretty. And we could stop here and watch the cells develop because they are developing. You can see they're coming in 
here, there, and that's from the, the metallic silver. Um, I love what it's done here, and that metallic silver is blended very well with that permanent blue violet. I'm just wanting to play a little bit more and see what we can do to create something here using this background, this as a background. When it's your paint project, you do what you want. Let's see here. Let me just let that pour out. Right on top. Bringing in more of that turquoise blue. Which I love that. You can see the cell action coming right out of the cup from that um, argent silver. That is amazing. That is really amazing. Still coming out. So we want to release it as much as possible. Okay, that'll do it. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, here's the fun. Let the fun begin. All right. We're taking what was a flip cup initially, now into a ring pour and working to see what we can do with building on it. Adding more color to make it a little bit more diverse in the color um, composition. Not so much purple or common blue violet as we had, and maybe more of the um, turquoise coming in. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm loving this turquoise and I don't want to lose it. I don't want to have too much yellow. I'm going to pull this over a little bit. Well, that'll come off nice. Okay. Look at that. That is amazing. That is really amazing. I love the outside workings here. What we're getting out of this. Very different design. Let's get some of that turquoise to come in. Okay, oh yeah. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. May not look like much to you, but it is really very pretty. Let's see if we can pull some of the color off here. Pulling some of the color off the side there. Back over, down. Oh my goodness. Very, very pretty. I love the outside edges. Love, love, love what's happening there. 
And those big cells are coming in the middle because of that metallic silver. They really are looking and giving it like a cloud effect there. Wow. I don't want to torch it. We've done some torching. We can see the striations in this nicely. Very, very beautiful colors on the outside edges here. All right. Let's see. We're going to stop at this point, bring you in for a close up. And if we need to make any adjustments, we will. But right now, I think we can bring this to rest. Okay. Wow. Let's see here. We need a wipe up underneath. If this dries with the yellow showing like that, and it will really, really pop when it is varnished or given a coat of resin. Just wiping underneath to gather some of that excess paint because we did have quite a bit. And we want it to dry smooth, as smooth as possible and level as possible. So get to that right away. All right, let's bring you in for a close up and have you take a look and we'll see if we need to make any adjustments, we will. Here we are, everyone. We have the close up and you can see we've got some beautiful, beautiful colors. Nice striations here. The upper green, the cadmium yellow deep hue, the permanent blue violet, the turquoise, along with the argent silver, and um, yeah, the hooker green, all making for really a beautiful look at how close, close up. You can see that shimmer in with the, um, oh, that's called the argent silver bringing that nice shimmer across each of these colors. You can really see it close up. And here's where that cell activity took place with the argent silver and the permanent blue violet, giving it some nice huge cells, but more like a cloud effect in here. You can see the beautiful striations as well. Look how beautiful they are. The green and the yellow and the turquoise blue all merging so nicely together. I like it. It's very different. It's fun because we played with it. It gave us a chance to experiment and play around. And here's what we ended up with. Okay. A flip cup turn, ring cup turned something special all right let me know what you think in the comments we'll see you guys on the next video upload until next time keep loving your art